Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this tutorial, I shall show you how to plot mean difference multiple comparison plot using R. A mean mean scatter plot or MMC plot shows a two-dimensional representation of the differences between many means. The MMC scatter plot is different from defo graph however, both provide the same information. The defo graph shows the mean of a group on the horizontal axis against the mean of the other group on the vertical axis with a dot at the intersection. A vector centered at the intersection with a unit slope and a length proportional to the width of the confidence interval represents the confidence interval. A gray identity line represents equality of means, that is the difference is equal to zero. If the vector does not cross the identity line, you can conclude there is a significant difference between the means. Lines crossing the diagonal in this chart are equivalent to non-significant differences between treatment means. MMC plot is designed as a crossing of the means of a response variable at the levels of one factor with itself. It is then rotated 45 degree unlike the defo graph so the horizontal axis can be interpreted as the differences in mean levels and the vertical axis can be interpreted as the weighted averages of the means comprising each comparison. This class of plots is used to display the results of a multiple comparison procedure. MMC plot contains reference lines representing means for each factor level rotated at 45 degree unlike defo graph. Each confidence interval on a mean difference is represented by a horizontal lines also called vector lines. The width of the vector line represents the confidence interval for each set of contrast or mean comparison. There is a vertical segmented line also called the zero line, indicate the significance according to certain rules. If the vector line is not covered by the zero or segmented line, the corresponding population means are declared significantly different. If vector lines cross the segmented line, the corresponding population means are declared non-significant. If an end of a vector line is close to the vertical zero line, this says that the declaration of significance was a close call. Sometimes it happened that the MMC plot shows overlapping of labels for each set of mean comparison on the right axis. The tiebreaker panel is needed to respond to the overprinting of labels in the right axis of the MMC panel. The tiebreaker graph shows an estimate for the difference of means and the two key adjusted 95% confidence intervals for the difference. Intervals that contain zero indicate that the difference of means is not significant. Intervals that do not contain zero indicate significant differences. So let's start how to plot MMC graph using R. Import the Excel sheet containing data in R Studio. The example used contains four factor levels indicating seed priming treatment and response variable that is yield. Use the head function to see the data frame. The head function does tell you that the data looked as if they came in right. Use the structure function to see the format of each column in the data frame. str function gives information whether the variables are being read as character, integer, factor, or number. Here in this example treatment variable is being read as character. You can use as dot factor command to enable R to recognize this variables as factor. One-way analysis of variance will be used to see the significance of seed priming treatments on the response variable. For this use AOV function, in parenthesis type response variable separated by treatment and type file name. The analysis of variance indicates significant effect of treatment on the yield. To get the mean values use model.table function. To apply general linear hypothesis use GLT function where you need to enter analysis of variance model argument and the matrix of linear function for all pairwise mean comparisons using two key test value. MCP function indicates multiple comparisons in ANOVA model specifying all pairwise contrasts of factor levels. Here R is giving an error as it is not able to find GLT function. I actually did not load HH library at the start. So I shall use library function to load HH package. Loading of HH require certain other packages. If you have not installed these packages I would suggest first install these packages with install.packages function. Now use the previous GLT function. Further. Use confidence interval function for GLT argument to get confidence intervals for all pairwise contrasts. 
Use plot function for GLT argument to get graphical display of confidence intervals for all pairwise contrasts. To get difference of means plot use MMC plot function by using GLT argument and treatment for focus argument. There is another way to represent contrast values in better way with mean values on vertical axis. For this first use MMC function analysis of variance model. This will result in two types of treatment comparisons. MCA represents the default paired comparisons while none represents confidence intervals on the set of groups of treatments. This function is the simplest way to represent contrasts. Another way to get same results is to use matrix of linear function as used earlier in GLT function. This function generalizes to higher order designs. Third way to get the same results is to use GLT argument. All these three MMC functions will provide identical results. Now use MMC plot function where you need to provide three arguments. First argument is MMC as used earlier to get confidence intervals for pairwise mean comparisons. Second argument is type where you can use MCA, matrix of linear function and none. MCA is used for default paired comparisons. Matrix of linear function is used for a user-specified set of contrasts which I shall discuss at the end of this tutorial. None argument is used for confidence intervals on the set of group. For style you can also use three arguments. One argument is ISO means which is used to plot a default MMC plot with the ISO means grid. Confident argument is used to get a confidence interval plot. Third argument is both. This argument is used to print both ISO means and the confidence interval plot as two panels of a trellis structure. First I shall use MCA for type and both for style arguments. The MMC plot will look like this. Using none for type argument will result in a plot of contrast values for the group. Using MCA for type and ISO means for style argument will result in MMC plot without tiebreaker. Changing style argument to confidence interval will result in a plot similar to tiebreaker. Changing style argument to both will result in MMC plot as well as tiebreaker. Further you can also use color argument to assign different colors for significant and non-significant vector lines in the graph. You can also change width of significant and non-significant vector lines by giving LWD argument. You can assign different values for LWD argument to change the size of lines in MMC plot. Further you can also change line type by using LTY argument. For more details on data visualization watch the suggested tutorial on data visualization using RStudio. You can choose values from 1 to 6 for different line types as shown in figure. You can also change MMC name by giving MMC name argument. Now the turn is how to define user specified set of contrasts as LMAT and LINFCT argument for the matrix of linear function. So I shall discuss LMAT argument to specify user-defined contrasts. For the treatment groups I want to define three set of contrasts. First contrast is control versus seed priming. Second contrast is non-primed versus osmo priming. Third contrast is hydro priming versus osmo priming. The sum of contrast coefficients must be zero. Use level function to assign names for treatment or factor levels. Use MMC function to get confidence intervals for user defined set of contrasts using two key test value. Use datafile.lmat for focus.lmat argument. Now you can see three groups of confidence intervals for MCA or all pairwise contrasts none for treatment groups and LMAT for user specified contrasts. Now again use MMC plot function as used earlier but the difference is that you will use LMAT for type argument to get graphical display of user specified contrasts. 
if you will use none for type argument it will result in graphical display for confidence interval for group of treatments. Similarly, using MCA will result in graphical display of all pairwise contrast comparisons. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you.